Gentlemen, today we're diving into the ancient and mysterious art of flight. More specifically, how to build a basic prop plane that won't instantly transform into a tumbling piece of modern art and get started on building planes from this to a bit more decent. So then, let's get started. Alrighty, so step one. We pull out our build menu, head into our seats section, and we pull out a cockpit. Now, first off, we're going to start off with the front nose, and we're going to kind of move on to the back and then the wings. It's just to get a general idea of what we're going to do, and yeah, not too hard. I'm going to put down a piston here, and we can just rotate it. Nope, I'm bad. Just going to rotate it around, put it there, and we can just let it face that way. So the reason we're doing this is called a piston glitch. So you just grab your propeller, head up, select your pistons, and you edit them in the gear bar, set the speed to 100, starting position at zero. That's all you need to do here. Then once you're done, you just kind of got to give this one, this block a some way to sit. So let's just put a two by four, two by two down, my bad. And then, voila, you have now done the piston glitch. And now we have twice the thrust. About 400 power is going into this now. Isn't that just lovely? Now we're going to move on to the back. Then we're going to grab our modular wing. See, a modular wing gives lift, quite a bit of lift, and it's quite a bit bigger than a small modular wing, which is half the lift, if I'm correct. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know the science behind this. But then, so then we're going to grab our two by our modular wing, grab two on each side. And then at the tips of the wings, we're going to look at our aileron. Now that, an aileron is used for roll. We're going to slap it on, put it on the other side, and there you go. So then what we will do from here is, specifically for aesthetic reasons, once again, we grab our 1x4, and then check if it's lined up. If it's not, just slap it back there. And I think we're just going to put a little 1x3 here, just to kind of clip in with that. Then we're going to grab two streamlining blocks, which is a wedge 4x1. Flip that around. And then, yeah, then we've got to kind of look to the World War II wings. If you want to and you want to hide the indents, you can grab shield blocks and just flip them around like that. But that's just going to add more weight. It's, it's going to look good, but it's going to add unnecessary weight. So we'll just take that out. So then we're going to grab this, flip it around, copy it to the other side, and then we grab our one by three. And there you go got your roll and your lift so far not too bad now we're going to move on to the tail now for the tail is going to be a bit weird because we don't necessarily want a block like this this is a basic block like it doesn't look too good it's it's a bit mid so we're going to grab put a little one by four here and another one here and then what we're going to do here is kind of move in the uh, two by two um, kind of block setup with a one by three. So how you do that is grab a piston, just flip it around like that, put it down, and then you set it to 0 0.16. Keep that in mind. Put the speed to 100 and always, always kill the binds on your pistons. You do not want if you're giving the plane to someone and they do these pistons, then your plane just looks ridiculous as everything pops out. And just in case it does change back to its original key binds, just put this on and if they press on it, it will just return back to its original position. Then once you're done there, and that's just, it will kind of stop right in the middle. So what we're going to do next is we're going to grab our six by two for the tail and then fill in another piston on the other side to kind of just equalize with everything else, have peace. And then there you go. Now you have a successful tail in the middle. If you check right here. It's perfectly in the middle, well, mostly. If it's by a few cubic centimeters off, it doesn't matter. It won't affect your, affect your flight, trust me. Then, let's quickly, let's just try to, I don't know. Are we gonna extend this? Mm, yeah, let's just ex extend it. We are going to be using a aileron, so Instead of a elevator that looks quite square, we're just going to move on to a aileron, which is more 
smooth, round, and just better looking aesthetically. So we're just gonna grab these, just edit them, but we cannot edit them both at the same time due to the positive arrow being in opposite directions, since that is roll. I don't know why they could have made it the same thing, but it's whatever. You can just change it whenever you feel like it by giving a minus value, but that's not what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna give it a plus for each, and we're just gonna set, so a thing to note when setting your elevator, just know that S is up and D and W is down. So up pitch is up and down pitch is down. Just think of it as like that. It's, it's not too hard. If you, if you don't, then have fun building. Then when you're done, we can set both to a angle of 30 and then a both at a speed of one. Remember to change it to a speed of one because uh, elevators are not, you know, they're not 0 0.5 speed. It's gonna be painful. So when you're maneuvering, it's gonna be a bit painful. So let's get into this test fight and not too bad, not too shabby. Going, we have obtained flight, my children. And it's not too bad either. So let's just backspace. Now what's next is possibly just aesthetic or just more speed. But first we're gonna go for more speed, which is better in my opinion. So more speed equals more. Um. Then we grab our space thruster and just slap it on there, just copy it over. And then we grab our one by two grid block. Just slap it on, put it down there, copy, copy, copy. And voila, we have gotten our two space thrusters in a little space. So now from here, all we can do is just really cover it to protect it. It's pretty much the best thing we can do. Whoops, that was a mistake. So we'll just copy it over and cover it up. There we go. Now we have a bit more thrust and quite a bit more uh, up pitch by like a tiny margin. All that matters is we got speed. And that is quite important in dogfights in my opinion. Don't know, it could just be pitch, could just be that, that, that. But in my opinion, speed is power. Though if you do go and mock whatever, it's pretty boring. But let's just move on to the next part. So what we're gonna do next is, um, I think we're just gonna make it look a bit better. I personally think it's a bit too square. So let's just improve the look. Now, I think we should quickly get rid of this because another thing to note, aerodynamics, it is uh, crucial to get your aerodynamics out of control, uh, under control. But I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll ignore those, but these, they bother me a slight bit. I don't know why they just do. So let's just grab this, select everything on both sides and just kind of like move it up, move it up a notch and then grab this side as well. And then just slap it on like that. Then we're just gonna delete this and do, 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 grab a one by two rounded wedge. Now, the reason I'm taking it apart, you will see in a moment. It's for aesthetic reasons, of course. You will see soon. But we'll grab our one by two block. Just paste it there, pull it all the way across, paste it right there. And then we'll grab, might as well, I don't know. Might as well grab this, pull it a bit back. Uh, pull that a bit back as well. Ooh. Oh, that is my bad. I we should delete that right now. Slap it, bring it a bit back, and then now the reason I took it apart is because we are now going to add here hinges because this is looking a bit too horizontal. But let's grab our little steering hinge and we'll place it here, there, there, and round about here. Actually, you know what? I took a good look at this. Uh, I think we should rather move the wings up. Just grab all these hinges, move the one up, and then just move everything in. Just to kind of meet up with the pistons back here as well. <laughs> now it just kind of acts like a bird. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could achieve flight this way. But we're making a plane, not an ornithopter. 
Now, what we do is we uh, just kind of kill all the binds from the hinges. Just delete that off and then head back here. Now we're going to head to the gadget section, scroll down towards the sensors and grab a, grab a altitude sensor. And we click that altitude to minus 500. So it will be on no matter what. And you just add that onto your hinges. Slap that on there. And then what do you know? Your hinges are bending, but that's too obviously too much. So we'll just grab the hinges, select them, and then set the angle to, I don't know, six. Click the green arrow. And what do you know? It's starting to look much more like a plane. So just for more aesthetics, I think we will just add a little, I don't know, like uh, possibly something like this rounded corner, slap that on there, rotate it, and then we've kind of got like a little, ooh, it's looking a bit nice. Yeah, so let's just grab a one by three. Uh, what did I do wrong? Okay, so I found out what I did wrong. It turns out there's a one by four here and a one by three here. Let's just get rid of that. And add a one by four on the other side. They were just swapped around. It's it's no biggie. Pull it back and it's starting to look a little bit better. I think maybe for the tail here, we will grab a one by three. And then just grab a wedge, one by three wedge block and slap down that there. And tail looks a bit bulky but I mean if it works it works right now let's take just take a look here I think maybe we should just grab a wedge let's put a one by four wedge right here oh ooh, whoops and then you just place that on both sides and everything is it's mostly taking away the skewness that's okay then we'll grab a one by two uh, rounded wedge or one by two rounded then we'll place a actually nah that's not gonna look good we'll grab a one by four instead do kind of the same vibe as previously on the top just paste the paste it and we just put a delete and just take that back slap that down there slap that down there and what do you know plane is starting to come together quite nicely let's do a little test flight shall we too bad there's quite a bit of weight added on now but more weight more protection right oh the wings are slowing, are looking a bit naked but otherwise stable flight we have done it lads stable flight so now all that's left to do really is to just cover these up because it's looking a bit naked so we'll just add a few panels on top here to also just give them a little bit of protection when you're dog fighting especially slap it on there slap it on there Slightly over the ledge, but... Jeez, that stutter. Slightly over the way the ledge. So now the next thing we do here is we just select the entire build. Just click on the paint and click clean. Oh, look how silky smooth this boy is. Then we grab the wings, select them, and... Mm, so I think we'll make it both gray. Then now it's the same color as everything else. You just select the wedges, select that, and that and we just make it great full on black and yeah adds a bit of style adds a bit of color to it there's not really much color but whatever then if you're wondering the weapons of you can place them anywhere you want but i preferably place them on the wings because then they're out of the way and then if you place them back here they're just going to kind of shoot at you i mean you could place one that's pointing back but have fun with it hitting your tail fin but otherwise and then yeah otherwise yeah I'd say we're pretty much done. Let's give it one last test, fl test flight before we end this video. Yikes, what a stutter. I'd say I'm pretty happy with this. And that, dear builders, is how to build a plane that actually flies. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And if you do have any ideas for the next video, please do tell me in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys would want for the next video. And yeah, ciao.